Hey guys, it's the real T Dog here. Out here with the RSX. About to hit the track. See how it goes. YouTube, it's the real T Dog, the real real T Dog, and we're out here at NSR Houston uh, at the track event I said I was gonna go. And as you can see back there, that right there is my forerunner. I do not have my RSX here. The plan was that the RSX out here, but if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that because of who I am, I did not prepare the car well before this. The alignment's all messed up right now, and there's it, I do more harm than do good. Uh, tracking it in its current state so I ordered some parts for it and hopefully fix it in the next couple weeks or so but I'm out here vlogging getting content and supporting my dude Steve y'all know him and then our friend our other crew member Jeff is here he's kind of like our uh, crew photographer and all that stuff so he's doing track sprints this is an SCCA event. In the morning for a few hours is gonna be track sprints, which from what I understand is from like pit it, pit out to pit in, like one after the another, like uh, to see who could get the fastest time in, in one lap around the, the track. Then after that for the rest of the day is gonna be time attack. And then they're gonna to top it off with like Lone Star Drift uh, guys doing their thing. It's a track vlog, but without me actually doing any tracking, so. <laughs> It's about to start. Let's see. There's our boy Lit Fam. All right, he's about to go on his first run. Go, Steve, go.
Nice. That's not a car I choose for track, but I mean, props to him for getting out here. Stock Accord. Okay. Oh, they're steep. There's literally no R sexes out here. I would have been the only one if I was if I was uh, driving. I need to represent next time better. Sticky's picking up some pebbles. He could have gone a little bit more harder on that turn. I don't know. I mean, I'm not the one driving, so. be done I think he's done yeah it looks like he's done he's pulling into the pit all right guys so Steve just finished his first session so me and Jeff are walking back to the paddock 
where our stuff's at. About to see what he has to say about his first session, how it felt, what he probably could have done better, all that stuff. So. Yeah, there is our champion. So how was it? It was okay. Okay. I don't know. Felt a little slow. There was one set, one of those set uh, session or sets or whatever you call them, where you at first turn one, it seemed kind of slow, like you weren't really pushing it. I was like, I was even said in the camera, I was like, I feel like you could have pushed it harder, but. Yeah, I think I turned in kind of late, or turned in too early. Uh, I didn't the, feel right. How's the car feeling though? Um, With the new tires and all. It's hard to say. <laughs> I didn't hit my uh, temperature goal. Oh. Because so, we didn't do back to back. In case y'all don't know, he's don't running know. new RS4s, 200 treadwear, 255s, as opposed to the Indy 500. 300 treadwear, 245 now, running a square setup. He's uh, uh, it's definitely a new setup, new tires, brand new tires. We put them on uh, earlier in the week. He's just, he's just breaking it in, breaking them in a little bit, and uh, we'll see what's going to go on on the, his next session, whatever that that is. Representing, uh, I don't know, no planning racing. I don't know what her name is. My, so my ABS <laughs> stopped working on the third run. So you I turn it off and out on again. It works now. Or what? Yeah. What the when fuck? I was pitting in. Oh, of course. Yeah. yeah. It needs an overhaul. I mean, or just a new car. Yes. Huh? Huh? Yeah. And maybe. <laughs> so I was telling Jeff how the perp, the main purpose for today was to gauge if track sprint was worth it over time trials because track sprint is cheaper to register compared to time trials, but you get way more time on track on time trials. And so far, even after just one run. <laughs> Steve's already saying that time trials is probably more worth it. Yeah, right? because so. if you if you already have experience, uh -huh. the sprint just doesn't do it. Oh, because you want to keep going. Yeah, because from what I can tell, track sprint is kind of like, like a neutered version of time trials, basically. So. It's a sample. Yeah, it's good if you're, if this is your first go. Okay, yeah, it's like slightly better than autocross because you have the, the use of a whole track. It's a lot faster. Yeah. It's okay. significantly faster than auto. Okay. I, I hit like 105. Ooh. Okay. So, which is kind of slow. As of right now, time time or track sprint is good if you're an amateur or someone with zero experience. But if you do have experience, then just go time trials. All right. Steve's not out there yet, but there's his group, Group A, is lining up in the pit to go out. So yeah. Jeff out here just doing our thing. Vlogging, taking pictures, all that stuff. Alright, looks like his group is uh is staged and ready to go. Our champion of never plan ahead racing. I don't know, we're still working on the team name. Hey, what up? How was, how was this run? Um, the run right before this one was probably my fastest one. Uh, of all of them? Yeah, I missed everything on the very last run. Ah. Yeah, I was way off. I, 
I, I almost lost it right at the bus stop. It was just, it was really messy. Riding in the race car, ow! <laughs> there goes my APS. Again. Oof. Race car problems, right? Uh, yeah, it started working again right now. <laughs> Just turn it off and on again before each run. <laughs> Pretty much. Our champion of last minute racing. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, RX-7. Nice. Excellent. Oh, that GTR is pretty hot too. Is it on air? Jesus, okay. I like his choice of wheels. <laughs> you got everything? Yeah. I know, I heard it start, but I was like, it's like you can't listen to it, right? Do us proud, Steve. All right, so I didn't record Steve's uh, third run because I was kind of, I was busy talking to some people, you know, and just hanging out. Oh, uh, actually one of his uh, S2K buddies. He was out here doing time trials, but yeah. Yo, is that a Supra? Ooh, we got the Drifty Boys out here. So yeah, got all these Drifty Boys out here. I think that I think that's Steve right here. I, let me see if I can get him. Oh yeah, that's Steve. Top down.
this one this time? A little better. A little better? A little better. Okay. Yeah. Got a little bit more familiar with the tires. Okay. okay. Uh, got a little, a little bit more comfortable. Okay. Yeah. A lot less fear. Honestly? Um, still fucked up a couple times. Oh, on some of the turns? Yeah. That's a learning experience. You know? Yeah. Can't expect to get it perfect like right off the bat. So oh, now that you're done, Steve, how do you what do you think about it, about it now? I think it's pretty good value. As okay. long as everyone is moving in a timely manner, you get a lot more runtime. Okay. Okay. So I did three runs, three three by three, maybe four. So you get at least ten runs. Okay. Which is a lot more than autocross for oh, yeah. the same price. Plus it's a full track, you know. So it is. I mean, you cut a little short, but obviously for safety. Yeah. Because, but I think next time I would probably do the time trial. Okay. All right, guys. So that was Steve's last run. Uh, they're going to be going into time attack now. Uh, so that will end this video. The next video will probably just be some extra footage of today's track event. Yeah. So anyways, thanks for uh, watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.